welcome to the video. It is early outside and I feel and look like a butt cheek, but nevertheless have a nine mile run to get done this morning. And then afterwards, I'm gonna take you guys through a full day of eating. I have no idea what I'm gonna eat today, so it's gonna be an adventure, but come along. First on the agenda, nine easy miles. Got some electrolytes by VPN, uh, but let's do a little pre-run fit check. So down here, we got the Alpha Fly Ones. These are the shoes I ran my first marathon in. They're not really an easy day run shoe, but I like them, so I'm gonna wear them. Um, and then right here, we got the Nike Racing Half Tights. I love these things. They feel like you are not wearing anything. And then up here, we got this just random Brooks t-shirt that they sent me a long time ago. Also got the Adidas hat right here because my hair just won't stay down when I run. So just tuck it back here. And as usual, we got Sophie whipping around on the e-bike. <laughs> so let's get it. I just wrapped up nine miles that finishes off week three of marathon prep there's no better feeling than finishing a week of prep hitting all your miles all your paces everything put in the work feeling good so I absolutely hate cold water but it's hot out so we're gonna jump the pool supposedly but I might wimp out so <laughs> I don't want to do it. Ah, it's cold. It's cold water. <sighs> Let's get it, baby. What if I style my hair like this? Mm, yeah. Maybe not. <laughs> Under the All right, so for breakfast today, I have three eggs with some Cholula sauce on there. It's the best thing ever to put on your eggs. And then we have an English muffin, some peanut butter, and then a scoop of strawberry protein by BPN. So, pretty good meal here. Just came up with it on the spot. 
Um, but yeah, haven't eaten since like yesterday, so it's gonna be good. I'm gonna enjoy it. I'm gonna time lapse this so you don't have to suffer through me shoving this down my face, but yeah. Meal complete. And I'll tell you, if you ever wanna be grossed out, just take a whiff of an egg. Like, I like was about to bite into an egg and I like caught a whiff of it. <laughs> and like, I, I wanted to die. It was just like, so eggy. Anyways. Yeah, I don't know where I was going with that, but yeah, it was gross. So I have to ship my car back to Kansas uh, today. So we're currently sorting through all of my clothes to see like, what I need to stuff in my car. Um, and of course I waited till the last minute to do this, but I mean, look at look at all the clothes I have. Oh my word. It's like a heaping pile. I'm gonna keep this all here. And then this stuff is going home to Kansas. These are all like my hoodies and I have a problem. So we have another problem. Um, that Tupperware thing is not gonna fit. So I think I'm just gonna have to fold all my clothes and shove them in my trunk. Police officer. Well, gotta improvise. We got a lot of shoes. That was low-key a little sad. Just like that, the Civic is gone, off to Kansas, never to come back to the state of Arizona ever again. But in a week, I'm getting a new car and I'm so pumped about it. So I wanna see if you guys can guess what I'm getting. So drop it in the comments what kind of car you think I'm gonna get and I will like your comment if it's the right guess. So leave a comment right now. So apparently the UV is like 11, so I'm gonna go tan. Probably good enough. So we're in Trader Joseph's to get some ingredients for lunch. So it's lunchtime. So this is Josie, and she's making us a little salmon sandwich for lunch. So I'm just gonna make a really sick montage to make it look awesome. So let's get into it. Probably the best chips on the face of the planet. That these little Trader Joe's talky things. These things are amazing. So we're gonna give this a rating one to ten based off of my first bite. So here we go. So I wanna talk a little bit about nutrition and what I do and what works for me. Keep in mind, what works for me won't necessarily work for you. But I don't track calories. I haven't tracked calories in years. And I'm not saying it's a bad thing to track calories in and of itself, but 
for me, it led to a whole multitude of issues. I was becoming hyper obsessed with just hitting a number on my fitness pal, and as a result, I was under eating. I lost a lot of weight, developed a really bad relationship with food. It just was a bad situation. And so now I intuitively eat. That means I just eat based off of feel, and I eat based off of what makes me perform the best. That approach has really like changed my life, if you will, and it's helped me become a much better runner, a much better athlete. I've gained a few pounds, but I've also gained my life back. I always associate the number on my fitness pal with my like hunger or fullness levels. So if I was at 2000 calories, even if I was hungry, I, was, I would tell myself I wasn't hungry because I'm at the max amount of calories I can eat for the day. When I took that away and I stopped tracking, I was able to actually understand and know what my body needed. And so that's why I don't track calories anymore. I just intuitively eat and it's made my life a whole lot better. And I'm still even deep in my head. And sometimes I feel my heart is dead. Maybe tonight, late in bed. Could I love you today? Yeah, I'm still even deep in my head. And sometimes I feel my heart is dead. Maybe tonight, late in bed. Could I love you So I just got back from mini golfing. Don't be fooled by the clips. I played like utter cheeks tonight. Just nothing was going my way it seemed, but it was a great time nonetheless. I got back, had a nice bowl of cereal, some special K cereal with the banana chunks in there. It was gas. But that's gonna wrap up episode two of Journey to Sub 3. I hope you all enjoyed. There's gonna be new videos every single week, so make sure you're subscribed. You don't wanna miss them. Also, drop a like and a comment. I'll be reading through the comment section and responding to you guys. So that's it. I will see you all next week.